was a little kid, I wanted to grow up to be a teacher or an author. Is it too late to change my answer? I'd rather be a tree or a porch swing so I'm no longer too heavy with the weight of problems to be lifted by the breeze. I want to hold someone in the middle of a silent summer night and leave the smallest of rope splinters in her hands so she can realize that sometimes it hurts to hold on, but there are times she can't let go without falling, and there are also times when it's okay to fall if that puts her on better ground. Yesterday, I saw a license plate that read 1.6191. I want to tell the driver that as much as teachers stress the importance of the decimal place, they should have stressed the importance of her place on earth even more. I want to be a decimal point on every bruise she has ever buried, turn to a period so she knows it can stop. She is a gift she gives, not a batting cage battered by the bad swing of a man who used to be loved. There are swinging movements less brutal than bicep to form the fist. Remember the porch swing, sip tea, someday dreams. Does it hurt you now to be cradled that way? To be carried by a touch that is no longer in tune? Can I tell her that if she gets out of tune, she should turn to a wind instrument, so all she needs is her breath. All we need is our breath. Become a whistle tune, or harmonica, or a first grader's plastic flute. Our lips don't need to be pressed to someone else's just to make music. Just listen to the symphony of wind kissing pine needles. That sound is anything but sharp in every second. Beauty, our spines are the bridge to beauty from the brain to the soul. And he can break backbones with his exploding verbal grenades, but vocal cords never collapse. And as thin as skin may be, there are actually eight layers within the three layers. Let me say, baby, you are tough. And no one takes the verdict brave out of you. No matter how hard a wind chime clashes upon itself in a tornado, it doesn't break. Neither does she. She's a cinder block, his black belt, and abuse can't crack. She's a levy between the flood of her husband's anger and the fear in her children's eyes. She's alive. A tea kettle about to boil hotter than his hot breath. She breathes lullabies, secret survival. That's all she needs. In the grips of her hands on the ropes of a porch swing. Me. But I can smell her cigarette smoke on my knuckles almost as if I could sucker punch her nicotine addiction away. But if I could do that, I would have bloody knuckled every backhanded beating, every one too many drink he sipped, every order and command down a vending machine with no soda, no chips, just a coin return. So the only option is change. And even if I'm not one in three women beat, beaten, coerced, abused, I've got her back, I'm on her side. If this is you, this poem is for you. Don't give up, don't give in. You are more life than statistic, more bruised than buried, more value to self than reliance. You are a woman, you are a woman, we, you are us, you are we, and we stand upright. We survive and kiss life because nothing can take that right. So I may not grow up to be a tree or a porch swing or even a teacher or an author for that matter, but every woman can have my body as her safe house. And this house is a place for anyone already standing or anyone needing a hand to stand. This is for you. Thank you.